and generally smartphones that comes under the price tag of around 15,000 is termed as the budget range devices wherein they are also called as the lower mid-range devices so in this video we have listed top 5 budget mobiles that comes under this price segment and we are going to be comparing these devices and let you know which is going to be the best budget device of 2019 till now so let's get started with the video Damn. Hey what is up guys this is YTB here and welcome back to my channel everyone hope you guys are absolutely doing good and in case this is your first time visit here hey guys I'm Dhanushekran here and you're watching me on my YouTube channel Your Tech Bro. consider subscribing to our channel and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any of the notifications in the video so let's get started at the fifth place we have realme 2 pro realme we all know that it is a subsidiary of oppo for the past few months realme is doing a tremendous job by just manufacturing all those budget segments and they are targeting those budget oriented uh, price segment so the following will be some of the key features of this device this is powered up with 16 megapixel plus 2 megapixel uh, rear facing shooter and at the front you have a 16 megapixel single facing front shooter a 6.3 inches ips lcd display and a 2.2 GHz Qualcomm Snapdragon 660 chipset wherein this chipset is ideal for all the budget range devices. So speaking about the battery guys, this device has a 3500 milliamps of battery wherein this device does not have any sort of quick charge. So this has one variant that is 4GB RAM plus 64GB of internal storage. Don't worry guys, this also has an external SD card that is expandable up to 128GB. So all these features comes under a package of 13,000 so this device is under our price segment. The next up, uh, the budget segment number 4, we have Honor 10 Lite. So there was a tough competition between this device and also one more device. So at last with one exceptional thing, Honor just backs down to position number 4. So Honor is just doing a tremendous job on uh, the budget range devices. So at the position number 4, Honor 10 Lite and uh, there are some good key features in this device wherein speaking about the camera you just get 24 megapixel front facing shooter wherein at the rear you just get 13 megapixel plus 2 megapixel rear facing shooter a dual lens combo this has a 6.2 inches uh, ips display lct display and it has a full hd resolution of screen and 2.2 jazz current octa core processor we all know that honor devices has its own processor that is current chipset so this device is also one such a 3400 milliamps power battery and it doesn't support any quick charge so guys all these key features are just targeted at a price range of around 14000 so in case if you are a selfie lover just go for this device as it has a 24 megapixel front facing shooter so moving on to the budget range number three and uh, that was a heavy tough fight uh, between uh, the position number two and position number three so at the position number three we have asus zenfone max pro m2 this device has a 5000 milliamps of power battery and i don't think so this device is capable of quick charge obviously you can use a quick adapter moving on to the camera guys this device is having a 13 megapixel front facing shooter and at the rear you just have a dual lens of combo of 12 megapixel and 5 megapixels so moving on to the processor this has a 2.2 GHz Qualcomm Snapdragon 660 chipset which was not a surprise at all so these are some of the key features I just found in this device and uh, this is targeted at a price segment of around 14 triple nine that is 15,000 so one such exceptional thing I love in this mobile is this device is having a really really glossy finish at the back panel guys moving on to the budget segment number Number two and uh, this is where my favorite uh, smartphone lies this is Samsung Galaxy M30 wherein recently Samsung has uh, just stepped into the budget range mobiles of M10 M20 M30 as well as A50 everything so the favorite one is Samsung Galaxy M30 and these are the following key features talking about the camera guys this device has a triple camera at the rear the first up is 13 megapixel normal facing shooter and uh, this next one is 5 megapixel uh, telephoto lens and the next is uh, 5 megapixel ultra wide sensor so the telephoto lens is also combined as the live focus that you get in many flagship devices right now this device is combined with all sort of sensors that you can just find it in a flagship device 
proximity pyro accelerometer and you also get a phase unlock in this uh, device a 5000 milliamps battery this is also combined with a fast charger present inside the box so talking about the price segment of this device m30 is launched in two price segments that is 4 gb ram and uh, 64 gb of internal storage is cost for around 15000 and the second variant is 6 gb ram plus 120 gb of internal storage and this is cost for around uh, 18000 you can have a uh, external micro sd card for all these variants the next up i'm going to be talking about is the most interesting smartphone in india present right now and this is going viral guys this device is trending day by day and uh, at number one we have the redmi note 7 pro and you guys might be guessed out already what the device might be so this device on paper works this is seriously mind-blowing guys so talking about the key features of this device guys this device is powered up with 48 megapixel plus 5 megapixel dual lens at the rear and these lens are powered up with sony sensors and uh, they are also ai cameras so moving on to the front you just get 13 megapixel uh, front facing shooter which is combined with uh, the portrait mode uh, the blur background everything you just get all these features in the front facing shooter a 4000 milliamps battery and it also has a qualcomm snapdragon 675 chipset which is somewhat pretty unusual to just have this in a budget mobile this device has a 6.3 inches full hd display and uh, wherein redmi claims this as a dot notch display you get a dot notch at the top so redmi claims it so other than this uh, this device is also having a quick charge uh, for technology and uh, this device is also having a facial unlock uh, so some sort of security enhancements has been made in redmi in the past few years so speaking about the paperwork guys many people has been put to a huge shock and many people are still being in the shock right now 48 megapixel uh, shooter at the rear facing oh my god so hoping to have a hands-on uh, of this device and certainly we have to check the camera of this device. So guys, uh, these are the top 5 budget oriented smartphones of 2019 that are uh, alive till now. So guys, I will leave to you and you guys be the judge and decide which smartphone is opt and which smartphone is in need for you because each and everyone has their own perspective. So guys, uh, thank you for watching this video. In case if you like this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. And uh, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon. So you don't miss any notifications in future. So guys, thank you for watching this video. Let me just catch you up on another interesting video. So until then, stay tuned, keep subscribed and keep supporting us till the end.